We started Magic Bus 13 years ago with the simple idea of getting people jobs. The basic idea was that young people can't move out of poverty unless they have a job. So the first thing we did was get them jobs. But we failed. Because we didn't realise that you couldn't just take an 18-year-old who'd been living in the slums or on the pavement and put them in a work environment without the vital and complex ingredients that are required to develop a young person properly. It was irrational to expect them to have the same work ethic as you or I. We realised we needed to work with children at a younger age and nurture them on a journey. This ultimately became the magic bus journey, from childhood right through to livelihood. And employment was the end game. The journey was set. We needed to understand the components required to ensure that a young person developed with the greatest chances of success. Chances that would ensure that they became successful employees. When we started to look deeper into the situation, we learned that globally, poverty used to mean anyone earning below $1.25 per day. Then, India unilaterally moved its poverty bar to $0.4 per day, which lowered the numbers from 700 million to 300 million living on this amount. And whether we say 300 or 700 million, the reality is the scale of the problem is unprecedented and therefore needs to be thought of in a unique and unprecedented manner. With these numbers, it has to be about finding bang for the buck. Coming from a business background where I was involved in running Cox and & Kings and then co-founding ClearTrip, we focused on building an organisation that could operate at scale from day one. So we started to first tackle the question of how to address the challenge of solving the problem of employment for these youth in a scalable and sustainable manner. First, we spoke to the academics to understand what the curriculum needed to achieve. Then we partnered with organisations like the World Bank and UNICEF to develop the solution. In the journey to employment, we learned some key things and we know we needed to solve four key issues. The first of these is empowerment, empowerment in the areas of education, health and gender rights. We needed to create a fair and social political system, a democratic system in the community. We also needed to access financial prospects for young people, livelihoods and jobs. We also added a fourth ingredient, employability skills, work ethic, confidence and emotional intelligence. Let's call these four inputs poverty kill. This looks quite complicated, but luckily in India we have a government and three and a half million charities working on various aspects of solving this. But every day the problem is getting worse. We're failing. Again, very complex, but mainly through lack of consolidation, NGOs, corporations and governments don't like to collaborate. Though we know these four poverty kill areas are the 100% cure for poverty. So we decided to go to the source, to ground zero, the community itself. We quickly understood that the best teachers, or what we call mentors, are the young adults in the communities themselves. We know that if we can train them to deliver our programme, they themselves become the best role models for children living in their slums. So we did just that. We developed 8,000 community leaders. We ensured that these mentors were trained in the four vital poverty kill areas. But we decided to use our youth leaders in a different way. We decided that we would start to aggregate what already exists so that children could be exposed to all these things without us having to replicate what people are already doing. We don't want to build more. We want to leverage the existing opportunities better. We want to change the fact that only 35% of children get to 8th standard in school and only 2% of youth enrol in vocation training programmes. Our special ingredient is simple. We know how to get children to participate and we know once they're in our program, we can persuade them to engage and improve themselves. So by doing what we do well, training community leaders, and by leveraging the efforts of others, we make sure our communities are using existing NGOs and government services. This is what we do in three and a half thousand communities and to quarter of a million children every week. Our 8,000 leaders Let's put that in context. We're one of the few NGOs in the whole of India that has 8,000 people delivering program every week, use our curriculum, 
that ensures youth develop these vital and complex ingredients that will prepare them to integrate into the labour force. Some of these ingredients are simple, such as learning about going to school, trust and hygiene, to more complex ideas around ethics and honesty. Amongst many things, we use sport and play as a metaphor in the poverty kill areas. We change the behaviour of a child and their parents using an activity as a lesson and then sitting under the tree afterwards and getting them to draw out the parallels. They then understand why school is so crucial to success. अभी हम जो गेम खेलेंगे वो गेम में दो टीम चाहिए एक टीम रहेगी जो कम्युनिटी रहेगी और दूसरी टीम है जो प्रॉब्लम टीम रहेगी जो प्रॉब्लम टीम है वो साइड में बॉल मारने के लिए खड़े रहेगी जो एंड लाइन है वहाँ पे स्कूल है तो जो कम्युनिटी टीम है उनको स्कूल में जाना है प्रॉब्लम टीम है कम्युनिटी टीम को स्कूल जाने से बॉल मार के रुका है खेल समझ में आया कितने स्कूल पहुंच पाए स्कूल जाने से पहले कितने जन आउट हुए छह जन क्यों नहीं पहुंचे? प्रॉब्लम टीम हमें साइड से बॉल मारी थी इसलिए हमें स्कूल जाने में तकलीफ हो रही थी ऐसे ही आप असल में जब स्कूल जाते हो तो आपको क्या क्या कठिनाई आती है घर के काम में मदद पैसे का टेंशन को मम्मी पापा किसी किसी के वो चाहते थे की मेरा बच्चा पढ़े पर गेम में आप में से कुछ जन स्कूल पहुंच गए थे ना जो स्कूल नहीं पहुंच पाए क्या आप उनको मदद करेंगे तो कैसे करोगे जो हमको स्कूल में पढ़ाते हैं हम उनको भी बताएंगे हम अपना दुख देंगे उनको तो जरूरी है सबको स्कूल जाना ही चाहिए ओके पढ़ने को जाता है तो पढ़ने को जाएगा अपना आगे भविष्य अच्छा होगा जैसे अभी गेम में हमने कठिनाइयों का सामना किया उसके लिए उपाय भी ढूंढा वैसे आप जब स्कूल में जाते हो अपने लाइफ में तो आप ऐसे कठिनाइयों का उपाय ढूंढते हैं वाई गेटिंग अ गुड जॉब हैज टू बी दिन गेम द सोल्यूशन कम्स फ्रॉम देम दे चेंज देर बिहेवियर वी सक्सीड बिकॉज चिल्ड्रन लव टू प्ले and because we put an adult in their lives that can show a different world to the children a different context to some of the cultural stereotypes that have been present for centuries maji bas to hamare liye achhi hai padhai bhi achhi hai kyun an padh rakhe kyun nahi hamare bacche padhai kare khelne se unka swasthya bhi acha hota hai aur padhai mein bhi dhyan lagta hai chahe ladki ho chahe ladka ho unke andar nikhar aa jata hai maji bas mein mere charo bacche jate the अभी मेरी लड़की थोड़ा बड़ी हो गई तो मेरा आदमी बहुत चिल्लाने लगा कि अभी लड़की बड़ी हो गई भी नहीं जाने तो मैं समझाई लेकिन मेरा आदमी माना नहीं दीदी लोग को भी तकलीफ हुई हमको भी तकलीफ हुई लेकिन मेरा आदमी बोला कि अभी बड़ी हो गई भी नहीं जाने का अभी नहीं तो तुमको भी मारूंगा दो तीन चार बार आए तो जाके कहीं हाँ किया बहुत कठिनाइयों का सामना करना पड़ा फिर मेरे बच्चे जा रहे हैं आजू बाजू के लोग बोलते हैं कि अरे मजी बस जा रही है मजी इतनी बड़ी हो गई है मजी बस जा रही है लेकिन फिर भी हम लोग माने नहीं बोलने दो बोलते हैं तो आज दीदी ने उसको पीएल लीडर में चुन लिया है इन द पोरेस्ट ऑफ विलेजेस वे एबल टू इंक्लूड चिल्ड्रन that have become so marginalized that they aren't able to connect with school or livelihood secondary education in india is a challenge but 98% of adolescent girls on magic bus are in secondary school 80% of magic bus children who complete our program are going on to further education or vocation training now we have the pipeline of a quarter of a million children attending our program every week the next few years will see a really sharp focus on employment partners we determined to make sure that as our numbers swell As more children get enrolled, we offer a comprehensive employment program. And our work has started with building programs and partnerships in this space. And in the next few years, we're set to become one of India's largest employment providers.